After interviewing my father, who was a person who migrated from the Philippines here to the United States at the age of 15, I noticed there were a lot of challenges that he had to face coming into this new culture from the culture that he had just come from. It was difficult for him, but he was still able to overcome it. Check it out. Please state your full name. Jaime Vare. Where are you from? Manila, Pampanga, Luzon. The Philippines, you know, I'm from the farm. How old were you when you moved here? I was 15 years old. How did you get to America? Took the plane. My aunt got me here by petition. My dad's sister is my aunt who came here in 1970 something. Who petitioned us? Family. My mom, my dad, my sister, my brother, and my other brother. Did you already know a little bit of English before coming here? Nope. What words did you know? Yes and no. Was it difficult for you to communicate with others? They had to get an interpreter for me for high school. Describe a time in your life when you made a mistake when trying to communicate with others. Too many episodes. My teacher is my sister. They we in the same class. So I kept telling my teacher, my sister is my brother. Him, I said, go ask my brother. And I was pointing at my sister. And the teacher was going, what, brother? You mean your sister? Oh. Yeah. Jazz, my sister. <laughs> Never forget that one because I kept telling them I thought I got it right. <laughs> the way that you communicated to your friends in the Philippines, is it different than how you communicate with your friends here in America? Yes, now they have cell phones. When back in the days when I was there, we didn't even have a telephone. We had to write in order for us to communicate to other people from another place. Now you have cell phone, you have computer, you have everything. Do you think technology made it easier for you? Technology? No, 1993 technology wasn't even up. I just did it myself. And study. With the technology that you had, did it help you? Yeah, a little bit. How long did it take for you to say that you were confident with your English? After six months, I was already talking English. After a year, I'm, I'm good. After two years, down pat. Got it down. What was hard in general about living in America? It's crazy out here. 93, there was a lot of gangsters here. Now you can walk anywhere you want without getting jumped. Back in the days when I was growing up, you cannot walk, you cannot take the bus, you cannot do anything alone. That concludes this interview. Thank you for answering these questions and welcome to America. Yes, thank you. But wait, but right now, if Donald Trump wins, go to Cool, so there's the interview. A couple of things I learned about my father that I had no idea about yet was that he didn't know any English. I thought that him coming here, he would know a little bit, but he literally only knew yes and no, which is universal. Anybody who's from anywhere understands yes and no. So that was something interesting, and that's crazy to me that he was able to learn a complete language in two years. I didn't face as many challenges as my father did, and I didn't struggle having to learn a new language like my father did. Even just back then, communication was harder for him also due to the fact that they didn't have technology. This culture that we live in now, the American culture, technology is everywhere and we communicate through technology in ways that have never been communicated before. I just find it crazy how my father can go from living in a completely different culture. I find it crazy how my father can go from living from one culture to another and learning the whole new culture through communication. And communication definitely shows a significant role in the process of becoming a part of a new culture. So that's the end of this video. Thank you guys so much for watching and uh, vote. That's all I'm going to say. Thank you.